Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're basically gonna be reviewing the Dubai trip. You know what time it is. Let me talk let me tell you how you can save yourself some coins, how to budget guys, because Dubai people they will scam you if you don't know what you could learn. They will scam you if they know that you don't know. Get me I booked my flights with Omar and Airline because one that you can amend your ticket without being charged for the amending for amending fees like what so basically obviously if you do change it to maybe a date when it's a bit more expensive then you have to pay the, the price different you can also you can amend it to different locations as well so you can go somewhere else completely different guys and yeah so let's say you want to go to dubai but then you actually have a week after then you want to go to mumbai instead so yeah you can do that too so yeah i really like oman airline their flights was amazing i had tons of food and they had african films on board can we just they had like all sorts of films i watched like a bollywood movie i watched an african movie i watched like uh, i watched um ocean eights which was the latest film I, oh my god my I stayed at the Arabian Park Hotel, which is about 3.2 miles away from the airport, which was really nice. They also offered me free airport shuttle, guys, when I arrived. Of course, of course, they they, they just took their time with this. Like, this is why I'm going to rate them 7 out of 10, one of the reasons. Because although they were amazing, I'm going to tell you all the things that they weren't so good at. I didn't like the fact that the window did not really have, yeah, I didn't really have a view. I did not like the fact that to arrange for my airport, shuttle it had to be a hassle like why did i have to wait i had plans guys i was gonna get there go straight to the um burj khalifa but then because everything took so long when i arrive at the burj khalifa anyway we'll get into that yeah but the airport shuttle was a hassle and but we got there in the end it was a very nice shuttle like i liked i like the car was quite you know it was, it was something it was nice and um the reasons why i'm gonna give these this hotel and seven out of ten is because the um exchange rate is way too high guys if you get there and you're trying to exchange your money you are gonna get finesse the way you're gonna lose literally for every pound you could probably lose 10 p simply because of exchange fees so don't do that if the things that i also loved about them was the fact was the price 130 pounds for three nights with breakfast included with all of their shuttle services to like all of the hot nice areas for free an absolutely amazing time from like 8 a.m and they will pick you up at different times of the day this is the pool area it's pretty quiet and there's a gym somewhere can't quite find it but oh changing room gym is in there Let's talk about the Burj Khalifa, guys. <sighs> As in, it was not available. Oh! <laughs> in a little boat ride around the fountains, which was absolutely breathtaking. But I got really wet at some point because, like, the, the fountains, like, the water, like, came into the boat and yeah, it got wet. Like, it was so bad. And yeah, so, um, other than that like that whole experience was quite nice like my first that was basically like my first day and i was just in town chatting to like so many people i booked it with our tour and it was so amazing i absolutely loved it i love my bargain guys it was 21 pounds from groupon and obviously be ready to have your whatsapp guys because everything seems to be done with groupon on whatsapp i don't know why these companies are like this but that's why they are get your whatsapp ready if you don't have whatsapp you need to have whatsapp for this company with groupon and stuff like that but they're really nice just call them like if you are at all just call that doorman like he'll be fine he'll come and pick you up when you need to drop you off from home when you need to yeah it was quite nice.
So guys, the day when I went to Bay Safari Tour was probably one of my favourite days because I really loved it. I enjoyed the people that I met. I enjoyed just how down to earth so many people were and like just how excited you were. Like you see these proper like grown ass humans and they're still behaving like they're 10, like as if they're fetus, like come on, like that was so fun. So it was really it was really memorable. I also got this to remind myself, like they wrote my name in Arabic. This is like safari sand guys don't don't at me like i'm only being a tourist you know and i also wore this when i was there but my little my little wing cracked for some you know humane reasons